Watching Jurassic Park with my great name. Impossible. channel has to be changed, of course. Okay, you guys. I went ahead and had some. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm getting ready to have another bite of it. So, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Isn't it beautiful? The cheese browned up really nice. The paprika made sure of that. And look. Oh, my goodness. Whoops. It's just absolutely wonderful. Okay, so I've got to quit. But I didn't eat breakfast, I didn't eat lunch, and I'm eating, I don't know what time it is. It's like 2.30, almost 3 o'clock. So this is the first thing I've eaten all day. I have drank coffee, I have drank water, and I also had my glass of milk. So this is what I'm doing. Now, after I get done eating this, we're going to go move the chicks. So I'm going to go eat this real quick, and then we'll move the chicks. What are you doing? Why are you in the bowl? Hmm? Why are you in the bowl? Hold on. Hold on a minute. Don't act so scared. Well, you can do it. Okay. 
Okay, little guys, we're going to handle some eggs. I'm going to turn off your red light. I'm going to turn off your red light. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Now, yesterday we lost power for about three hours, and these little guys got really cold. But my eggs, I just threw a towel over that and a sweatshirt over them. Looks like there's some stuff going on in there. I'm checking the eggs that I didn't get hatched the last time, so some of the hens that I wanted, I haven't had their, their eggs yet. I'll just not, I think it's good. Don't really, oh yeah, look at that. That's some great stuff going on in there. Even though the egg is dirty. It's because I had to fight my broody hen. Um, but anyway, we lost power for about three hours. And, oh yeah, that's a bad one. Let's see, look. Okay, but anyway, for three hours. So the towel held this for three hours at 89 degrees, and it caused the humidity to go up to 87. So it did really good. My little chicks got, like I said, super cold. These guys never get in a corner, ever. And, like, they're in a corner right now because it's dark. But I'm just saying, cold one minute. The chickens heard them and they just come running. <laughs> oh my goodness. So before I put them under a red light again, look at the beautiful colors. Look at DeVito here. Look how grays. And you got grays coming out on you. Yeah. That's what we like seeing. But look how beautiful these little chicks, their colors are. All right. Let's get them in there. There they are, side by side. This is the closest they've been since <laughs> the four week olds hatched with them, these 15, in the incubator. So now they get to know each other a little bit. And then once they all get big enough, we'll pair them off to what I'm keeping and you know, what I'm selling. So let's get them in here. And this here is little DeVito. <laughs> He's growing up. Ta-da! There's my 15. All right, so we're in our spot up here. I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, so these guys have their floor unit now, and there is room back there to do another floor unit. But for right now, trying to keep these guys warm and these guys cooler, 
to kind of get them ready to be little adults. <laughs> I have stacked up two totes underneath the bigger tote. What I will do as when needed, I can lower these away from the light. So right now we're going to keep them at the light. Um, they still have a floor unit over there and it's really, really warm in here. I don't have my thermometer in here anymore. I broke it. I need to get a new one, a new wall hanging one, but, uh, this is where they are now out of my bathroom. Y'all have a great day. Hugs from a distance. Enjoy your weekend.